Georgia, not far from Chattanooga actually, and I'm at Peavine Baptist Church, um, it's, uh, on one of their campuses rather, and uh, just talking about evangelism and um, ministry and different church strategies, a uh, good guy named Joel Sutherland here, he's leading it, he is the pastor here at Peavine, and uh, just talking about what it means to have a heart for these things, so pretty cool stuff. Hey guys, so I left my house this morning a little after 5 a.m. Drove to church outside of Chattanooga and uh, in a Rossville, Georgia. Was in a conference all day on evangelism. Good stuff. Looking forward to digesting it with my team. Then I drove over here to Cleveland, Georgia. I'm at Pastor Tim's house for a uh, Bible study that... Uh, he launched this Bible study for college students, and also tonight he has his friend who is planning churches uh, overseas and is doing a phenomenal job. So, looking forward to that. And James ain't gonna let me in? Come on, James. No, not today. Not today? Oh. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. talk about experiencing God. Tim asked me to talk about that. Lord, you'll show them the next step in their walk with you, Lord, as they agree with you to do your will. Lord, I pray that you make it plain to them and reveal it to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, thanks for coming, Joe. All right, guys, here we are. Thursday afternoon. We got the main man, Emilio. Yep, Hefe. We're getting some painting done here at the old house. Look at this, beautiful. Gray walls, crown molding done. He's done in here. This room's looking good. That's gonna be the living room. Dining room, painted. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go, guys. Now, look at what I'm doing over here. Um, I am tearing apart bathroom. Yeah, I really didn't bring you guys along for the demo process, but that's okay. Check this out. This was uh, this was a little hallway with some junk in it. This was our bathroom right here. You see, they used to come in through that door right there. And we're gonna open all this up and make a big closet, make a big walk-in closet, and move the bathroom to a different place. So I just got to finish tearing out all this stuff. So here it is Friday yesterday I tore out this bathroom this used to be a little storage room right here y'all see where the white paint is to the green paint so from the green paint over all that was a bathroom I had this idea this morning the ceiling was a little messed up and so I think I'm gonna take all these old plank ceilings out in here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this up and expose the beams and uh, expose the rough cut timber 
and we'll hang some pretty lights in here. And uh, this is going to be our closet slash laundry room that is connected to the master bath. So you guys kind of get the gist. I'm actually going to turn the camera off for a while, but here we go. This is what we're working with, and uh, all this will be exposed, which is pretty cool, right? I'll show you the after here in a bit. Hang some nice lights up there. Beautiful. So I'm about halfway done with the ceiling. Opened it up here, and uh, remember this house was built in 1900, so this used to be a back porch, and they closed it in check out what I found you never know what you're gonna find this is actually it's kind of cool but pretty nasty a little creepy this is like a perfect skeleton look at that thing yeah I don't know it's either a baby squirrel or a rat but that is crazy look at that it's like <laughs> Morgan's freaking out she can't take it but then that, look at that perfect rib cage intact and everything <laughs> All the bones. There's no telling. That thing, it may have been up there for like a hundred years. 